Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the DCI number 780F. This is a manual flush bolt that you're going to typically see installed in metal doors, although wood doors are very common in as well. But this type of doors t is, is properly uh, intended for steel doors, and I'll go over that in a minute, why that would be. Um, typical manual lever extension style flush bolt shown here in the 26D finish which is satin chrome available in several different finishes of course from DCI it was a quality a uh, very quality provider of material meaning their material is, is quality customer service technical support all that stuff they're a good nimble company uh, that I would not hesitate to specify or use on any job so being a manual uh, flush bolt versus something automatic where you have to manually work the bolt. Extension, meaning it'll come with this threaded rod. This is a 12 inch version and you can make them longer with longer rods should you need. Those can be ordered. And then a bolt head gets threaded on there. This is not how you install it, but that's what the unit looks like when it's basically assembled and being 12 inch what that dimension is is a reference to what would be the top of the door to the center of the bolt so down here to the 12 inch it's measured from where the top of the door would be down to the center of this faceplate okay intended for steel doors not so much for wood doors although they're really common in wood doors as well because the machining in a wood door is not something that is typically easy to it's not easy to do if you're doing it after the fact or if you're doing it in the field because uh, this requires a hollow space on the inside of the door for the rod to go down and connect to you know the female portion of the inner assembly I'll show you the rest of the components so you've got your flush bolt body that and there's a link below this video to the template which shows everything important dimensionally about it and you can see the reference there for metal doors six and three quarter tall one inch wide faceplate okay uh, other than that all of the dimensions are you know you probably want to know the size of a strike I would imagine this would be used in the header and in the sill two and a quarter 15 sixteenths just under an inch that's a real common flush bolt strike from that template you can get an idea of your preparation requirement if this is in a metal door uh, you're gonna want to if it's a new installation you'll want to order the doors from the factory already prepped for these because there's preparation that needs to be done at the factory uh, which is typically not done in the field at all now if it's a wood door you want the wood door version of this flush bolt which is a corner style which is something that you would use a router or even a hammer and chisel to do the problem with this being used on a wood door is that while you can certainly mortise the edge of the door with a router or you know whatever tool is your preference I would use a router for both the body which is down here and then the plate which is just you know the six and three quarter by one inch by you know three thirty seconds or whatever thickness this is I, forgive me we don't have to guess it's one it one eighth <laughs> you can certainly mortise that the problem is getting this drilled from the top of the door and while I have personally done it um, 10 million times um, it's just that you need tools to do it that are specialty tools you need a very long aircraft hanger bit like an 18 inch bit you need a guide to clamp to the edge of the door so that you can get that router bit going in from the top and bottom of the door through just the inch and three quarter thickness and the problem with doing that even if you've got those two tools is the wood style and the wood that makes up the core of the door those are different woods and one of them's possibly not wood different density so that drill bit has a tendency to seek the less dense wood and which is always the core so your drill bit goes down so it's really difficult to get a straight you know drill point if you had a long bell hangers bit it's 
really, really tough to get that, even if you're only drilling 12 inch. It's really tough. Um, so it's best not to use this in a wood door, but it can be done, and it is done every day uh, of the year. Um, but those are the obstacles that you deal with. Mortising uh, the top of the door and bottom of the door is very typical. This is the guide plate that's included. You can see that it's got a D-shape there, and that is to complement the D-shape profile the bolt head and that's because you don't want that to turn or unthread and it will unthread just like a chair a bolt in a chair will over time unthread on its own and then fall out as will this if this was allowed to turn then it would fall inside the door and then you've got a problem so that gets mortised to the top of the door or surface mounted or prepped otherwise or if it's a pair of doors usually the door manufacturer just incorporates their own into the door and you wouldn't even use this um, longer bolt heads are uh, available as well. Why would you need that? Well, if you had a significant undercut, uh, then st significantly greater than standard undercut, that bolt head can only travel so far before it will fall out of the guide. If you had an inch and a half undercut like double what is normal that would never reach it would it would fall right out even if it could travel that far so you would use a longer bolt head and it would hang down a little bit from the bottom of the door so that you could still throw it because your your distance of throw is is fixed here it's only that far you know one inch whatever it is it's not more than one inch um, so you, you can do a longer bolt head, and that would be typical. Reach out to us if you have need for a longer bolt head. Um, you're going to get, obviously, screws for everything. The short screws are for the to hold the body into the edge of the door. Then those longer screws, which are like a combination thread, can be used for your strikes. can be used for the rod guides, the bolt head guides. And after that, it's typical. You're going to get, you know, they're sold as each, one of these. One extension rod, that's quarter 20 by the way. One bolt head, one guide, one strike, one package of screws. And like I said before, DCI is a really good good option for trimming auxiliary hardware and they make a lot of it. Um, flush bolts, surface bolts, door stops. They also have a proprietary line of uh, specialty exit devices. Uh, pleasure to be a distributor for them. And if you have any questions on the 780F flush bolt, installation, mortising, preparation, specification, troubleshooting, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.